shouldn't have let him go. Shut up, Rita. They were civilians, not rebels. You keep making noise, the command will land. This is the shell casings? That wasn't a rebel ambush. Command ordered the Metron unit to take out our train. Fire. They just stepped in the wrong line. Friendly fire? Command tried to waste this and let the scabs go. Command? Done it now. We'll be fragged for right. sure. Nobody's going down. Just keep your motion in check. We can't go home. You heard what happened to Owen? Yes, we can. Now get stacked. Right, we didn't find any rebels, so we couldn't have let him go. Right? No, we just sang on the head. Be okay about this. <laughs> Welcome to a new Let's Play of Crusader No Remorse, made by Origin in 1995 for MS-DOS. Played through DOSBox, and the version that I am playing is from GOG.com. And well, it seems that the World Economic Consortium was none too pleased with what our squad had done, so they tried to kill us with one of their death machines. However... They had failed, and we had survived. So, let's start a new game and take revenge. And we're gonna be starting the game on Loose Cannon. Now, when I played this game when I was a lot younger, I played this on Mama's Boy, and that is by far the easiest setting. And there is no way in hell I'm playing this on No Remorse. That's just absolute suicide. Now, once I start, there shall be a live action FMV. So, Enjoy! First, let me say welcome to the Resistance, Captain. I'm sure you realize that Central thinks you're a spy. But I've reviewed your debriefing tapes, and I have a hunch that I understand what makes you tick. Enough so that I've persuaded Central to give you a chance. One shot to prove your sudden change of heart. You are to spearhead an attack to take a consortium refinery offline, permanently. An informant will meet you there and provide you with a security card that will allow you entrance into the facility. Your principal objective is the thermal coupler on the fourth level. Once you have placed the pack, one of our extraction specialists will contact you with coordinates of the nearest teleport pad we can commandeer. Consult your data link if you have any further questions. Good luck. Maxis out. Well then. <laughs> and, well, here's the start of game, the game. And let's take out our pistol with the space bar and turn with the arrow keys and start shooting dudes in the face. Now that guy there, he would have possibly turned on that alarm. Now in order to move forward, we can use the arrow keys. And of course, yeah, it's an isometric view and we turn the arrow keys, like I said, and if we want to back up, we can just press back, press the back arrow key. Now, in order to select objects or corpses, you just press the S key, and you press enter to interact with them. And here we have some credits, which is money, and here is a footlocker, and in this footlocker is two medical kits, which of course will restore our life bar. Now in this locker, there is some VA-41 clips, and though it's kind of funny, that it's BA-41 clips, because the gun that we have is actually the BA-40 Patriot Semi-Automatic Pistol. And of course that guy that was firing at us was in fact a guard. Now, oh, there's a valve, don't want to use that, and yes, these guys do randomly drop stuff. And if we do that, BURN! <laughs> burn, burn, burn! Ooh, yeah, that's kind of visceral. Yeah, there's valves all over the place that you can essentially use to use as traps. And now let's just shoot this guy. 
Now, we don't have to worry too much right now about taking damage to our health because we do have a shield, which is represented as the red bar. And oh yeah, by the way, you may not like this, but we're gonna pretty much shoot up everybody that we see because we need the credits. And also here's a, here's a uh, computer, which yeah, this one will just stop the alarm if it was active. And also there is a medical station, which we don't need. Yeah, the controls in this are do take a little bit of getting used to. So, and of course, if we press the Z button, we can, or Z, depending on where you are, we can center the camera on the silencer, which is who we are. Now, if we hold control and press the left and right arrow keys, we can actually roll. And of course, if we press the back button, we'll actually, yeah, just will crouch. And of course, the AI in this game is none too bright. And of course, there is a wall camera. What we want to do is we want to roll and fail trying to shoot it. Yeah, they, they, oh, yeah, alarms can do various things. They can either summon more enemies or they can activate traps and things like that. And let me tell you, the traps can be absolutely nasty. So, hello, dude. You work for the WEC, therefore you must die. And I need the credits. Yeah, it's kind of bloody. And there we go, an energy cube! Yeah, that restores our shield. Crap! Wow, I'm doing crap today. Well, yeah, here we got some turrets, and they are rather annoying. And, of course, I'm taking a crap load of damage. And just shoot that up. Normally, if I'm not recording, I can do all right. But unfortunately, I am. And let's just use that, and oh crap, our shield has taken quite a beating. And I want to try and preserve our, oh, our energy cubes as possible. Oh crap! That there is an MS-40 Roaming Susan, and they're kind of a nuisance, but it's best not to ignore them. Now, in order to switch between our inventory items, wow, look at the credits we have already. That's actually not a lot. We just press I and O, and we already had an energy cube, and there's the debt pack, and there is the data link. Let's use it, shall we, by pressing the U key. Thermal coupler. And, yeah, I can't read that. Enhance! Let's see. Miss mission objectives. Gain key card from Rebel Informant. Locate Thermal Coupler on level 4 and destroy objective with Blast Pack. Simple enough. Alright, and... Yeah, let's press the escape key. And... Also, here's a switch we can use. Which we can do that. And also, if we press Alt... We can do that. We can sidestep. And, of course, there's an elevator. And let's use this, shall we? Which has two debt packs in it, which we can use to set traps. Now, kind of want to save at this point, and there's... Yeah, I had two personal games. So, yeah. Just do that. Save over that. Don't worry, I have a backup. And someone like a jerk! just blew that right to hell. Yeah, if we didn't... The thing is, if footlockers get destroyed, the contents is also lost. Now, we kind of want to be careful a bit. We don't want to go too far. And... Sidestep. And pressing E, we can use an energy cube, and holy crap. Well, that was junk. Well, that was absolute garbage, because I was not intending to do that, and already there's a dude, and... Yeah, you take damage pretty damn easily. And, ooh, a spider bomb! That's helpful, and really, I should be a lot more careful! That's, yeah, I'm just being crap today, aren't I? And... Frickin' die! Can I get the camera? 
Yes, I can! Just want to do that, and it's dead. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and... Oh, boy. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that that wouldn't happen, because, yeah, those crates... You can... You can actually blow those up. And also, if you press the J key, you can jump. It's a little difficult to jump. And also, really, I am doing horribly. Normally, I do a lot better. But like I said, I'm recording, so... Ugh. So let's use that up. And those are infinite. And of course, kind of want to conserve our supplies at the beginning, because, well, it's not a good idea to be reckless. And oh yeah, those discolored tiles right there by the barrels where it blew up, yeah, those are unstable and they will not hold our weight. And down there, we will die if we fall in that goo. Oh! There's another guard. Shoot down, and oh boy, we are low on ammo. But oh, thankfully, there was a A41 clip right there, and here we have some stuff. All right, now I want to equip my debt packs. And I want to just set it right about here. And yes, there. And I kind of want to back up. Hey! Yeah, as you can see, there's some more roaming Susans in there. Kind of want to get their attention. And if we hold down the shift key, we can run. And of course, we can attack that industrial fan from all the way over here. bullet to get their attention. Yeah, the debt packs is a good pack, a good way to, use, to lay a trap. But of course I don't use them that often. And we kind of just want to lure out that roaming Susan. Hey! Yeah, though, they, these guys are a little bit slow. So, bear with it. And I... Oh, hey! Stop firing, I'm not there! And, of course, we want to wait for it. Oh, here they both come. And, let's see, just, yeah. And, once it gets near the debt pack, we want to press B to blow it up. Yeah, this is a bit of a rough start. And, ah! Get over here! Stupid robots! Yeah, these guys suck. And, kaboom! There we go. That's the first one down. Kinda wanna do this. Oh, freaking screw it. Oh, God! And, of course, we just wanna blow up those barrels! And there we go. That's that dealt with. And let's go and get our rewards, which are... Which is another medical kit, which is very handy. And three spire bombs! These things are absolutely amazing. <sighs> Let me tell you. Essentially, they're remote control devices that you can actually control and maneuver them into places in order to get them to reach places where you don't want to actually expose yourself because you really want to take it easy. And here, oh, he has a clip on him. And here we have a keypad. We don't know the code. So let's just exit that. And what's this computer got to say? Due to recent rebel activity, the code to operations has been changed to 558. Remember, delete this message. Spies are everywhere! Well, we just... Well, yeah. Now, here's a teleporter. Let's go in! And we gotta be a little bit careful here, because there's some conductors, and let's see if I press yeah. quick load. No, I don't want to quick load. I want to quick, quick save. I want to quick save by using the F5 key. And of course, yeah, that's the button. Now you see those little red and blue dots? Don't run over them. Because those will shock you. And let's take out. Where that. do you think you're going? I'm going where I want. And, of course, that's a bouncing Betty. Come on, just die. Die, 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 die. There we 
There we go. And unfortunately, he incinerated that corpse. And ooh, you see that? <laughs> Sorry. Here we have the SGA1 clip and the SGA1 shotgun. This thing is rather good. Packs quite a punch. Now we kind of want to deal with these roaming Susans. And we got to be careful because there are two, in fact, two crates right there, two foot lockers. Now we can switch between the guns by pressing Q and W. Ah, freaking hell. Well, you know what? Screw it. Yes, I'm going to quick save. And I am just going to show off the spider bombs. Now we can use the arrow keys to control it, or we can actually use the num numerical keypad to actually control it, which I'm going to use because it's a lot easier. And set. Go, little buddy! That, that, and of course they explode whenever they come into contact with anything. And there's that roaming oozing down. And let's see. Want to. Yeah, and of course. Considering that this is a shotgun, it's a bit slow, but if you're crouching, it doesn't really have much of a reload because you don't need to cock the shotgun. Now in here we got another shotgun clip and some more pistol ammo, which is good. Now you gotta be, care be careful of those conductors because they will shock you. And the thing is, they actually deal damage directly to your health. And let's see, let's just look at this again. And 558. Five, Alright, let's use that code, shall we? Now, we can actually use the mouse for this. 558, five, or you can use just the keyboard. And there we go. Now it's opened, and there's a guard. Oops, kind of want to sidestep. Intruder. Oh. Yeah, shut up. Now let's center the camera. And there is a wall camera. Great! Yeah, the thing is, they take a while. If you're at a certain distance, the cameras actually take a lot longer to notice you. Let's see. Yep. And there we go. Got that thing. Screw you, buddy. And oh boy. Got some credits there. Nice. And let's use the switch. And let's go down. Shoot you. And also be careful of those panels right there. The glowing panels. They can shock you. And let's get that dude. Roll. And do that. Yeah, rolling. You really need to do that. And oh. Ooh, look at that. Right on the table, another energy cube. And oh god, we were out of them. Not good. Now let's just open that switch. And let's see, that's a steam vent. That will hurt us, so... Let's use that. Which will turn it off. However... Just wanna... Oh, nope. Want to do this. Huh. No dude. Okay. Well. Nothing we need to deal with there. So let's just continue on and press Z. And yeah, just another way to deactivate the alarm, so let's go. No need to bother with that. Now of course I am gonna want to save periodically because I don't want to lose my things. I don't want to lose any. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, these guys are a little bit stupid. Oh. And of course, if they aren't on screen... They can't actually hit you. Oh. Ah. Let's turn around. And ah. let's get that guy. Now, those lasers, those will zap us. So, let's just turn them off. And say screw that. Wow, getting really light on ammo. 
Thankfully, I found some clips. Yeah, guards are not too hard. And they are very easily led into traps. Let's just do that. Yeah, they take a little... They take a little while. Yeah, see? Like, look at them! Look at these idiots! Just come! One, come all! Come into my death trap! So I may shoot thee in the face with gun! And that guy got zapped. Zap! Sorry. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? You fool! You can't shoot me through that and get zapped once again. And you get shot up. Ooh, a medical kit! Yeah, these guys rarely drop medical kits. And... Around here. Oh, but there is a turret. That is kind of annoying. Ugh, gotta be careful because I only have one energy cube left. Ugh, sorry, just being a very careful. Oh, jeez. Yeah, in, if I was playing on Mama's Boy, I'd take only one-fifth of the damage. Yeah, holding shift and... or holding control and jump. Ah, frick! Well then, I kind of want a quick save here. And yes. Oh boy. Security. Yeah, just sorry. Oh yeah, by the way, if you press the M key, you can actually quickly use a medical kit if you're in... Quick, if you're in danger. No, oh, screw you, you stupid electrical panel! And we got two more spider bombs. Nice. And his corpse did not die, or explode. Good. And there we have a force field, which we're going to need to deal with. But, anyways, I think I shall finally end it here. And it's been a while. Glad to get back into the swing of things. And hopefully, in the next video, I won't be so crap. Anyways, that shall be it for me. I've been the Northern Star Dragon, and I shall see you in the next video.